Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Siberuski here and today I'm bringing you a little anticipated video about the tanks that have been added to Battle Royale recently with the Seasons update. And in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to play the tank, how to play against the tank and what to do and what not to do while using it or facing it. So, the brand new tank that got added to Battle Royale is a very heavily armored vehicle with two gunner seats, one being the main gunner seat which shoots the turret and uses 32 HE shells to do high explosive damage which you can use to snipe people from long distances as long as you lead on a little bit. And the second gunner seat is going to be the machine gun seat on top of the turret that lets you use a 50 cal to shoot at people. Unfortunately that gun is not very accurate and only useful in close range so make sure you don't use that thing too often. Just because it's not a very effective gun, plus you're not going to be in cover while using it, which means you can get killed pretty easily. But besides having those two gunner seats, the tank also has two passenger seats located inside of it that anyone can jump in and just ride along, be in cover, and you can actually heal yourself and switch out your equipment while being inside the passenger seat in the tank. Unfortunately, you cannot switch weapons or reload them while in it, but you can heal and just ride along, that way you can take your whole squad with you without leaving anyone behind. Alright, so let's start off with how to use a tank properly. First of all, one thing you're gonna be noticing is that the tank is not a very agile vehicle. It has very bad turning abilities as well the max speed or top speed isn't as good either. So you wanna make sure that you're in situations where you can take cover or have a very clear angle and feel to engage your enemies because if you have to maneuver around and rely on that, it's not gonna be good since the tank doesn't do that decent at all. So the first thing you want to be doing when getting a tank is make sure you have the situational awareness of where the zone is going to be, where it's ending. That way you can pick a nice elevated area like a mountain or a hillside to park your tank on because the tank it has depression. What I mean by that, the depression of the gun is pretty bad so you cannot look very straight downwards. So you want to make sure that your tank is on a like slightly higher elevated position where it's tilted downward, that way you can easily shoot down your target and have a clear view. This is very important since your gun mainly has quite a long reload time but as well has very high damage which allows you one shot enemies no matter what if you hit them. And if you're in a high elevated position, probably most engagements you're going to be taking from there are going to be long range. So make sure to use the ADS, which is the aim option and the tank to use. Because the tank has kind of a scope that you can use to just look further away and make sure that your shots are more precise. So make sure to use the aim option. Another thing to keep in mind of when you're driving a tank is that you can actually shoot out two smoke clouds which allow you to back off. For example, you're on a hill and you're getting locked up by an FHA and shot at, you don't know where. So you want to back off from the fight and make sure to find out the enemy's position before you engage them. So what you want to do is throw down a smoke cloud and then back off behind cover where the FHA won't be able to hit you. So, since we just covered how to use a tank properly and most efficiently, let's talk about how to counter a tank. The best way to counter and destroy a tank is just get another tank. Sometimes you're in a lobby where you could be lucky enough that the supply plane drops two tanks. And if that's the case, you can take one tank if that one is busy already and just take it out that way because the tank cannon will four shot a tank if you hit him directly. So the best thing you could do is get another tank and kill him. But if you find yourself in a scenario where there's been only one tank drop and the tank already is taken by an enemy, your other best option would be to use an FHJ on longer ranges. I mean, you could use an SMRS as well, but the thing is the SMRS has a long travel time and on very long distances it's harder to use. And the FHJ is just way easier to use. It locks on instantly, it's a guaranteed hit and you will need to shoot it between 4 and 6 times to blow the tank up. Usually it's 5 rockets for me from an SMRS or an FHJ, but the best way you could approach it is with an FHJ on long range. But let's say you're in a situation where you're pretty close to the tank and you don't have FHJ with you, well, then the best thing you would be able to do in that situation is hope that you have some flashbangs and Nova gas. If you hit a flashbang, against the tank, not directly against it, but make sure it like rolls under it, you will be able to flash the tank driver for a couple of seconds. And while you flash him, what you want to do is throw your Nova gas on top of the tank, because the Nova gas, it will not damage the tank directly, but it will kill the driver for sure. And since the Nova gas is a pretty strong tactical, if you hit him the right way, it won't unfortunately stay and follow the tank, but if the tank stands still just for a couple of seconds, the tank driver will get gassed out instantly and you can take over the tank. 
So guys, make sure to always have Nova Gas with you. Use it against the tankers because you can hijack the tank and just secure it for yourself if you use it in the right manner and you will have a tank that hasn't even been damaged if you use it the right way. Plus, if you play defender like myself and the tank is ramped against a tree or doesn't have anywhere to back up to except the one direction, you can place a shield that way so it will get stuck and then you can throw the Nova Gas at it. That way the tank has no option but to stand still or the driver has to get out of there that way you will kill him easily. But if you don't have any Nova Gas but you have other tactical equipment like for example frag grenades or sticky grenades, make sure to use them because hand grenades, if you hit them next to the tank and they blow up and the sticky grenades as well, the cluster ones, they will do significant amount of damage that will help you destroy your tank. You can actually use, I'm sure, uh, 5 frag grenades to destroy the tank. I haven't tested it out with the cluster ones because they're kind of luck based since depending where you stick them on, uh, they do more damage or less because they can spawn up more projectiles tells but from my experience you can use five to six frag grenades on the tank and it will destroy it but you don't really necessarily need to have explosives in order to deal with a tank because you see the tank relies on aerial damage which means when they shoot their projectile it blows up and on that radius where like the, the highly explosive shell lands on it will do damage there so if you're for example taking cover behind the ledge or let's say you're on the roof and you're on the back side of the roof and on the front side of the tank. Meanwhile, you stay on the back side of the roof, the tank won't be able to do any damage on you because it has nowhere for its shell to bounce on and do splash damage. So when you fight a tank, the most important thing you have to think about is how to play your angles and cover. Because if you're, for example, on an open field which goes downwards and the tank has a look on it, you're dead instantly because there's no cover you'll be able to take because he can just bounce off his highly explosive shells of everywhere and kill you. So what you want to do, you want to play smart and make sure you're on top of angles that go downwards your way but the tank can see it so it looks like it's going upwards from the tank's perspective. That will allow you to basically not be able to get hit by his highly explosive shells and the tank has to choose between two scenarios. You're just shooting the living hell out of it until it burns and blows up or he has to move away and reposition. So make sure to play smart, play your angles and don't be in a situation where the tank has an elevation behind you or a flat field that it can shoot for it to bounce the explosion onto you and kill you. But let's say for example you're in a situation where you're running on a building and a tank takes you by surprise and you're very close to it but you need to have like Nova Gas or any angles you can play. The best thing and the bitchiest thing you could do at that point is just try running up towards the tank and get inside of it and use its passenger seat and just sit there, chill and wait until you get the perfect opportunity to strike. It might be a pussy move but it's the safest thing to do if there's a tank right in front of you and you have nowhere to hide. Just get inside the tank because there's no way they can kill you if you're inside the passenger seat unless they get out and like gas you or blow you up which you can react towards by getting out yourself and trying to kill the tank driver while it's outside having an even fight and playing field. So guys, I'm gonna give you a little tip and fun fact before this video ends. The first one is you can actually shoot down the airplanes that carry the tanks. So if you know that the cargo plane is about to fly over and drop a tank, you can just shoot it down from FHJ, that way you can plan where the tank lands or make it land closer to you, therefore giving you a greater chance to get the tank for yourself and not give it to the enemies. And a little fun fact I want to tell you guys is, don't stand under the tank, it works like an airdrop, it's gonna crush you and kill you, it's not worth it. I tried it once, it was hilarious, but I wouldn't recommend anyone else to do it if they want to actually win a game. But that's been it for this video guys, please let me know in the comments down below which was the most interesting or useful tip for you that I said in this video or if you have any other suggestions or tips that I maybe don't know about or missed out on this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like if you found this video helpful, informative or just liked and found it entertaining and if you're new around here, just hit the subscribe button. It's free and that's an amazing price. But besides of all that gibberish, I wish every single one of you a beautiful day and I'll see you next video. Peace. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>